So many of you know me as the pull-up king, so with my expertise, I'm gonna get you guys in the next 30 days to pull up to your abs just like me. Okay, let's get straight into it. How many times a week will we train our back? Two times a week, with one workout being focused on increasing our weighted pull-ups, and the second workout being focused on body weight, but trying to increase how high we can pull up. For the next 30 days, you'll be doing two pull workouts a week. Let's first break down the weighted strength workout. Okay, you'll be doing weighted pull-ups, weighted chin-ups, weighted Australian wide pull-ups, and weighted Australian chin-ups. For the amount of weight that you use, you wanna find something that's gonna challenge you within the three to five rep range for the pull-ups. And for the Australians, 10 to 15, something's gonna challenge you within there as well. And you also wanna be resting for about two to three minutes after each set. Now, while doing these exercises, you wanna make sure that you aren't cheating. So while you're doing the weighted pull-ups, you aren't using your neck or your chin to pull up and get to the bar. You want to do everything cleanly. You want to actually, your mindset when pulling should be pulling up to your upper chest. Okay, it should never be like this. It should be like here. That's it. Also, each rep should be done explosively with clean form, of course. And for the Australian, the same thing. Everything should be done fast, but controlled. You don't want your reps to be floppy and sloppy. So keep everything good and you'll be on your way to pull into your reps. Now for the explosive bodyweight workout. You'll be doing high pull-ups, strict explosive high pull-ups, high chin-ups, high explosive chin-ups, and explosive Australian pull-ups. For the pull-ups and chin-ups, you'll be doing everything within a six to eight rep range. And for the Australians, of course, it's gonna be a bit higher because it's easier to do. For rest, it's going to be 60 to 90 seconds in between your exercises and two minutes after a completed cycle with three to four cycles done for a complete workout. Now, while you are doing these two workouts every single week, you wanna focus on progressive overload. So getting stronger through every week. For the weight of stuff, week by week, you want to increase the weight by at least 2.5 kilos. If you don't have access to the increase of weight, then you wanna focus on increasing your reps. For the explosive side, you wanna focus on pulling further down and also increasing your reps as the weeks go by. You wanna make sure you have measurable progress on how far you are getting from week one to week five. Now, I probably know what you're thinking. You'll be doing the same two workouts every week for about five weeks to get to 30 days. I know it's going to be mundane, it's going to be tedious and repetitive, but sometimes doing the repetitive stuff is going to get you where you wanna get. Over the course of my journey and how I got to eventually pulling to my abs, wasn't even by following a plan like this. But if I had followed this, I'd get there a lot faster. But the thing is, you don't have to follow a plan like this to get there. You just have to do the reps, you have to do the sets, and you have to do it consistently. Okay, with a good plan, which you have here, and with consistency, you'll get where you want to get. That's really all it is. I never had a plan to pull up to my abs. I just kept doing workout after workout. I kept developing my back. I kept getting stronger. I urged myself to make the muscle ups easier. And eventually through the course of each strict explosive pull up, each high pull up after each cycle and, and rep, I eventually got there. In calisthenics, to get stronger, you make what was first hard to you easy. So let's first reflect on your journey. If you first started and you pull up, you were barely able to pull to your nose. But now, through a year, or a few months, or maybe even a few days, you were able to pull to your chin, a proper pull up. The same thing is here. If you want to get lower, you just have to keep doing pull ups. You have to train in that way, you have to train in that fashion, develop a plan, and get there. And the same can be said as well with Jordan and Dylan. They never really had the goal of pulling higher. It was always, we want to make the muscle up easier. And how do we make it easier? By completely kicking out technique and just overwhelmingly making the muscle up focus on strength. Most of you, the reason you're trying to pull to your abs is to make the muscle up easier or to get to the muscle up. And if you want to get there, you're just going to have to do it, right? People like to overcomplicate a lot of things, but in reality, repetition makes growth. It helps you grow. That's really all it is. And that's about it, guys. It's a very simple plan. You just have to put in the work. You have to be consistent and make sure you get everything done with clean form. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.